Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Pixelmon from the Pixelmon Evolved server. My name is Dave and I'll be host for this episode. As always. Experienced viewers will know what my voice means. I am getting sick. Yesterday, uh, when recording, um, like, the, the Grand Theft Auto episode for yesterday, I was just kind of, I had a bit of a sore throat from being at a concert the day before, but now I'm actually getting sick, so... This is different. This will progress in the next few episodes, you can probably tell. Um, I'm doing what I can to prevent things from getting actually bad, like eating a bunch of raw ginger and stuff like that. Which, I mean, I don't really need an excuse to do that, but yeah, um, it helps. It helps a lot. Um, so let's hope things get better fast. Well, what that means for the episode is that I'll probably talk a little bit more quiet than usual, a um, bit more chill. There might be a few more voice cracks than usual too. Um, but we'll see. What do we do today? Um, when it comes to Pixelmon. <laughs> How about we do some stuff with Pokemans? Yeah, we'll play with some Pokemon today. So, uh, you may know what's behind these leaf walls. Huh, it's these guys. You right here. Yeah, my, my voice also gets really bassy when, um... I have a bit of a sore throat, which is why I don't mind recording when I am. Because I can talk like this all day. So we have this person right over here. And we failed to beat him. This is um one of Ethos NPCs. And then we also have the NPCs over there. The training ones. Um, let's quickly go over there. And I have failed to beat one of them as well. Oh, you know um, so, one of those is a boss that is always equal level to you, and the other one is an ultimate boss. That means this Pokemon are 40 levels higher than your own highest po uh, highest level Pokemon that you have on you. And I failed to beat them, um, so far. The thing is, th these guys up here only have Blissies, and... Um, like, it, it's all just one Pokemon, which means it would be very easy to hard counter this dude's face. Uh-huh. You. You right there. Um, so that's kind of what we'll work on today. I want, I, I need some good Pokemon, is, is what I'm saying. Something that is specifically aimed to beating things. Now, in the last episode, we actually got two Destiny Knots. I mean, I kind of got one or two depends on how you look at it we now have two destiny nodes right um that means i can actually start breeding pokemon and i would say we'll start breeding a pokemon that will be a hot counter to this guy's a hot counter to blissey hopefully something that is really strong so we can also beat the other guys over there so yeah we'll work on that today so what would be a very good pokemon against all the blisseys that we have over here well, the Blissey is normal type. Pure normal type. It does do a bunch of fairy type attacks, but it is normal type. So, what's good against normal type? Fighting type. Aha, uh -huh. we have a lead. So, we know fighting type will be very effective, and we know that fairy type attacks are common with these. So, what do we do? We get ourselves a fighting steel type. Aha! Uh -huh. What kind of fighting steel types are there? Well, there is, um, Lucario. Aha, uh -huh. Lucario is fighting a steel type. It's an Uber. Um, I think it, the Mega at least is an Uber. But yeah, uh, I would say that's the Pokemon that we'll go for. We'll read one today. Uh, well, we catch one today, and then I'll try to breed it. We'll try to catch one today. Let's say it like that, because as it turns out, oh boy, are these rare. Uh, it seems like, at least. From what I saw on the internets, Lucario and its pre-evolution, I think called Rylu, only spawns during dawn and dusk, which always is a problem. They are uh, spawn in Extreme Hills Plus and Extreme Hills Plus M. So we go there, and then we hope. Uh, it is currently sunrise, so it is dawn at the moment. I don't know if this is the right biome, though. Is the thing. So I might have to go around actually trying to find the right biome. Um, this is just Extreme Hills, so this doesn't work. The uh, Rylu is a r uncommon spawn, rare spawn, not quite sure. It's not as bad. The, the chances that we actually get a Lucario to spawn is, um, yeah, we, we 
can probably forget about that. It looks like there's a tiny little bit of extreme hills plus around here. Um, just this bit, not that bit over there, so I'm not sure if this will work out. But yeah, there's a second Pokemon that I'm kind of interested in. Good against um, normal type, against tanking normal type attacks. It's not just steel type, but also ghost type. Aha! And there's a ghost steel type Pokemon that is usually pretty strong. It is known to be strong. And that's Aegislash. So that's another Pokemon that we can look out for today that I could start breeding later. But first, I think I want to see if I can get a Rhylo to spawn. I probably have to find a different biome though. Yeah, we're, we're no longer in Extreme Holds Plus, as you can see. We're not uh, only in Extreme Holds. You can see that down there below the minimap. Let's zoom in. Uh, where are we? We are... Hard to find. There we are. Okay, so this is Extreme Holds Plus. This is Extreme Holds. Uh, you can see that down here. It says what biome we're hovering over. At least if we're close enough it to be loaded in. So this is Extreme Holds Plus 2. This stuff over here. Aha. Uh -huh. So that little bit. What's this over here? This is just Extreme Holds. So pretty much this tiny little bit is the right sort of biome. Uh, we'll probably go and try to find a better one. I'm not quite sure what this is. But as you can see, this far out, this doesn't um, register. And maybe, remember how we were exploring last episode? I'm pretty sure I came across a bunch of mountains somewhere. This could be a good biome for it. Maybe this. So, I would say we try once over here, the next uh, sunset, the next dusk. We'll spend over here, maybe we get a Rylu. If not, I'll just go and go to a different version of this biome. I ended up spending a bit more time here, actually, which is why we now have a Mega Steelix over there, a Mega Tyranitar, there was a Mega Gengar over there as well. Um, a Rayquaza spawned as well. No Rylou's, though. Uh, not yet, at least, so we'll, we'll try for another one. There is the Steelix, and I kind of want to kill... Actually, I'm not doing enough damage. Never mind. Oot flinched. Oh, that's unexpected. Now, uh, let's do Roost. We heal up. Hope oh, we don't. Oh well, it knows Rock Tomb. Of course it knows Rock Tomb. Means we're probably dead. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't think Noctowl can do anything against this. Let's do Hypnosis. Uh -huh. Avoided the attack. Let's just... Oh no, we couldn't escape. Never mind. Okay, we're here now. That didn't work out too well, did it? We can now no longer fly back. That's unfortunate. Um, the Mega Gengar is still around, it seems like. Also legendary boss. That Mega Silix was also legendary. Um, but no Rylus have spawned, it seems like. I want one of those in the future, too. I'm pretty sure I can beat this Gengar, um, fairly easy with a bit of an Earthquare if I had, uh, well, this won't work out. I guess we do dig. Um, hmm. Yeah, if... Earthquake doesn't have any PP, then obviously it won't be able to do anything here. Very good. That's why you heal before you put your Pokemon back into the PC. God damn it, Nafe. Uh, let's do Night Slash with Persian. And that's not enough damage. Okay, well, we won't get this one either. Seems like. Nope. GG. Damn it. Not, not, not really the best uh, performance here by me. Oh, maybe we can get ourselves the right Pokemon, though. Let's see if we get a Rylo to spawn. And the answer is a resounding... You wish! Um, yeah, Dusk is already over. And nothing has spawned, so... Nope. No Rylo for us. I guess, since this one is the rare one, let's quickly go and get ourselves a few pokes for Aegislash. Now, um, Aegislash comes from Dewblade and Honedge. Uh, I think on the pre-evolutions, right? And those spawn during nighttime in savannas, if I remember right. I used to live in a savanna. Is, is that also a boss? I think that's also a boss. No, that's not a boss. Uh, yeah, I used to live in a savanna on the last server, you may remember. And, um, yeah, I, I seem to remember from that, that a lot of those were around. I used to kill them for um, iron and aluminum. So, let's head over to the savanna, catch a few of those, pick out the best ones, and see how good we can get them.
On my way to the savannah, uh, I couldn't fly, right? So I had to walk and I came across this place. I think this is Fiki's base? I'm not quite sure. Well, in all the case, there is a Mega Venusaur. That is definitely a Mega Sun I don't have yet. So let's go and get that. I totally missed. Well, never mind, I didn't. Plant. Let's do Brave Bird. Less than half damage. I expected more, to be honest. Let's do Flame Charge. Still very effective, but that hardly did anything. We did not get a burn off, which is sad, but yeah, Brave Bird takes care of it. Marshadium, not quite the <laughs> set crystal I expected from that. We got the Mega Stone. Awesome. That's very good. Very good. I don't think we have a Bulbasaur yet. Um, so, uh, yeah, we won't be able to use it. We'll get a Bulbasaur in the future, that's for sure. I can now fly. Let's head over to the Savannah, finally. A bunch of people have set up in savannas this time around again. Uh, this one is the closest nearby spawn, I think. So we live here. And that right up there is our first contender. Now, Smorgon, for some reason, told me that we want to have a sassy one. So, let's see, what, what does sassy mean? Sassy means special attack up and speed down. So apparently we don't need a fast one. Um, I'm gonna trust Smorgon with that. And we'll just try to catch... Some of these. Synchronize it. Throw a dusk ball. Since it's dark, there's another one. Um let's let's catch a bunch of them. Come on, first try. Right? First try? First try. Very good. Sassy on levels up. Don't need that. Let's go and get the next one. Come on. And dusk ball. Let's see if the old synchronized thing works a little bit better than last time. Well, it looks like two is all we got that night. Let's check him out. Where's our second one? Uh, you go back in there, Honich. Let's have a look. This one is indeed sassy. Huge growth. That's kind of cool. Next one is also sassy. So the um, synchronized thing worked a little bit better this time around. Let's check the IVs. If we got anything good to start off the breeding with. Um, nope. And the nope. Okay. So... That's not a good start. Let's take a fresh box. Let's take this one, put all the honages in, and then we'll just get a, catch a bunch more. And hope we get a few better ones. Well then, I've made it out to a different Extreme Holds Plus biome, this one right here. This is one of the ones that we were in um, our last episode, you know, when we went exploring all the way out to here. Uh, I went out to this one first, but no extra molds plus there, so, um, yeah. I went out to this one, found a little bit just over here, and let's see if we can find something good, shall we? The only thing I found so far is this uh, little dragon type. I think it's pretty good. Uh, let's see, the dino. How about we do this the right way, okay? So, Smogon says we want this thing to be Timid, the uh, Hydreigon, and then we'll also take a Preloom, and we'll catch this one like, like a real professional Pokemon trainer, right? So, uh, Timidion, the front, Preloom, uh, second spot, and then we go, catch it, where did it go? Hey, wait, uh, there you are, found you, thought you can escape from me, huh? Meet my Preloom, there you go, we, uh, put it to sleep, Spore, there we go. Go and do false swipe. Nice and easy. 1 HP. And back. Poke balls. Ultra ball. There we go. And look at me. I'm looking sharp. <laughs> I look like such a nerd with those glasses. Uh, there we go. Because today is one of those days where I think I look stupid with those glasses. Okay. Where, where are you? There you go. Go. Oh, let's check you out. Relax nature. That's not the one that we want it. Okay. Um, and I guess that works. So let's try this again. It is currently uh, sunset. It is dusk, and maybe we can now finally find our uh, Rylu. So far, I had no luck. These are actually quite rare. But maybe this time around, if we're lucky, we'll actually see one. Um, I went ahead and try to despawn everything during the daytime so we have a good chance that we now have a Rylu. All the Pokemon that spawn should be spawning during uh, that- oh, oh, wait 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 ah uh, you be my friend okay um you get to meet my Preloom but uh, I think I'll just 
still a Pokeball. It is dusk, um, it is dark, so Dust Balls will be very, very effective. Way more than Ultra Balls are, so I guess without sleep and without Fall Swap, we can just do... You broke free. Okay, well, never mind. Let's uh, do Spore. This should go all pretty smooth, I guess. Fault Swipe, down to 1 HP, and... Dusk Ball, there we go. Cool. Well, that's the first one that, that we found. I hope it's a good one, um, since this took quite a while. But I'll since, seeing how rare they are, we probably have to breed all the uh, ones in here. Check its IVs. Nah. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to breed all of those into here. Let's see, maybe we find a second one. Maybe we're lucky. It's a naive nature, not what we wanted. Um, looking around, maybe we can find another one. Uh, it's a pretty small biome, so not sure if we're lucky. We use it from the top. Um, no. Oh well, ac actually, um, it's it's nighttime already, so yeah. Well, never mind then. I guess. Uh, time's over. Time's up. We'll just take this one and head back to base. So I am wondering, can our Rylu, once we evolve it into Lucario, the way it already is, beat the level 140, well, well the ultimate boss, really. So let's give it two good moves, or two decent moves, I guess. I saw it can learn Flash Cannon, that's lucky that you actually saw it at the moment. And then the other one, we need Fighting. Where was Fighting? I think Fighting was next to Fire, right? Um, it is already better to find things. Thanks to these icons, fighting right here, um, which was a brick break. Wow, that's the first one as well. Cool. And well, we also have to level up, or rather, evolve the Rylu first. Apparently, Rylu evolves if you level it up during daytime with high happiness. We got the whole high happiness thing down now. So we'll just force feed our Rylu a few EV berries until we can't anymore. Wow, it's actually even quite a bit. Hey, 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 hey! Stop. There we go. Can't go any lower. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Happiness should be at max now. Uh huh. 220. It's, uh, 255. That is correct. You learn Brick Break. Um, instead of Foresight. And can you learn Flash Cannon already? You can't. Okay, so we'll have to evolve it first with that. Just so I happen to have a rare candy on me. So there you go. Oh wait, is it actually daytime? I didn't check. Well, it is evolving, so I guess it is. Whatever the case. Here we go, and that will be our Lucario. We'll also give it a few of the supplements, so we have the right um, attack buffed, and probably also speed. Well, yeah, also speed, obviously. Ooh, no, sounds good. Aurora Sphere. The user lets lose a blast of Aurora power from deep within its body. Mm. This attack never misses. Well, that's better than Brick Break. It never misses, and it has more power. I didn't know it actually learned that. Well. Now we know. Cool. Here. You can learn Flash Cannon as well. So according to Smorgon, we'd want to raise its attack and its speed. Now, the moves that it actually now has, Aurora Sphere and Flash Cannon, are both special attack moves, as you can see over here. So we probably actually want to raise its special attack for now. For that, we need... What was it? Oh, I forgot. I think Carbos and Calcium are the ones that we... I want to give it. Let's check. This one is special attack. Mm -hmm. Give it a few of these. And then we'll give it a few of those. There you go. And now, if we check its EVs, like that. Um, yeah, there we go. It is now trained a little bit better. We'll check stats. Yeah, special attack is now higher than normal attack. Now we go and train at level 100, and we do that by fighting Blissies. Let's see if this works. Let's go absolutely overkill right away. We have a level 31 Lucario meeting a level 100 Blissey. Oh, and our Lucario is only at 4 HP. Okay, maybe that's not gonna work. Let's do our Sphere. No, we didn't. Okay, let's heal first, maybe. See if this works out. If this doesn't, we'll level it up first. And then we try to fight again. But I'm fairly confident this will be good. Here, come on, fight me. Uh, or us here. Did you sling that failed? BAM! Do you see that? 
super effective. That's it! Yeah, I think we have to train it first. Let's quickly train it. Okay, maybe I should have checked this earlier, but as it turns out, Blissey has a really, really high special defense and a laughably low um, normal defense. So its normal defense point is at 10. And I think special attack is at like 150, something stupidly high. So if we do like uh, physical fighting moves, like Brick Break, <laughs> we, we should like really, really hurt it. Um, as in, yeah, we, we do. If we go in here and we do Brick Break against Blissey, we one hit it, even though it's still like 12 levels above us. If we instead do Aurora Sphere, we hardly dent it. So, yeah, Brick Break apparently is the move that we want to use against these. I did not expect that to make that much of a difference, but it does. Uh, what that means is I'll quickly head back to um, the Wasteland. I'll get rid of all the uh, special attack EVs, give it normal attack EVs, physical attack. And then, we're fighting that guy. The ultimate boss. Ultimate! And then we'll beat your face. Here, have some protein. It's good for you. It's really good for you. And now... Let's fight. Okay, there's the big Blizzy. Level 140 against our level 93 not healed Lucario. With Brick Break. We were faster. Not down to half health. Okay, if we level up fully, we might be able to get it down to half health with one attack, but I don't think we'll be able to one-shot kill one of these, sadly. Actually, I haven't tried, um, what is it, the other move? This one? Flash Cannon? But it's a special move, yeah, it won't do much damage. Maybe I should go for a different Steel-type attack. Also Brick Break. Check again. Yeah, it's not, not down to half health, so this doesn't, it doesn't work, not yet. All right then, level 100 Lucario, fight me, brick break, and more than half health. Awesome, so we get to kill one. Yeah, we we killed one. <laughs> Very good, that's it. We won't be able to kill a second one. We'll get one attack off, but then it'll get killed. But, um, better than before? Still, really, um... I don't know, impressive that we cannot kill this guy, even now with our specially trained Lucario. I guess if we have a full team of Lucarios level 100, we can kill this dude, but that doesn't sound fun. Um, maybe we need some more good Pokemons against this guy. He just doesn't even care about us. Oh, hi. Now you're looking, huh? Hmm. Still, I feel good about having this Lucario around now. And we can actually breed it and make it make an even better version of it. But I'll have to wait. Because this already is the end of this episode. Haha, <laughs> I have to end it and shut up, rest my voice. Um so I'll go ahead and I'll do that. I still hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh I <gasps> Nice. That's number three. That was super lucky. I should kill more of these. For sure. Yeah, um, I, I enjoyed the episode. I hope you did so too. And I hope you check back with me next time. Next episode video stream. Whatever it will be. And until then, see ya.